What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So our new tires just came in finally. You guys know I haven't mounted my Spoon SW388 wheels yet on the S2000. Uh, so currently the car still sits on the stock wheels. And yes, I know you guys are wondering, this is an AP2, why is it sitting on AP1 wheels? That's because the previous owner did have off the market wheels on it. Uh, so yeah, he only had the AP1 wheels if you guys are wondering. The AP1 wheels will be for sale. Uh, I currently do already have a potential buyer, but if for any reason it doesn't fall through, I'll let you guys know this will be up for grabs. These are the 16 inch wheels. So a lot of guys like to run them on like their 90s Honda Civics, EK Civics or EG Civics, even the Integras. But anyways. The wheels we have are over here. They're sitting in the box right now. Again, a few months back, I uh, picked up Spoon SW388 wheels for the S2000. Uh, absolutely love these wheels. I'm super excited to rock them. We also got new lug nuts, as well as the stickers for the spoon wheels and center caps. So all that has already been ordered. And what's left are the tires. So yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce you my new tires. All right, so we have our fresh meat over here with the S2000. Some people like to run a staggered setup, which is what it comes from factory. Some people like to run a square setup. And again, what that means is a square setup means all four wheels and tires are the same size on the front and rear. A staggered setup generally used in most rear wheel drive cars means that the front are not as wide as the rear. The rear wheels and tires are wider. Um, so again, in the AP2, they come with stock 17 inch wheels. AP1 come with the 16 inch wheels. Um, I decided I'll be running a square setup. Uh, after speaking to a few of my S2000 friends, um, especially those who, you know, drive the car on the track once in a while, they say the square setup is better just because it gives more grip up front since you have a more meaty tire. Uh, the downside is you might have a little bit of rubbing issues you definitely have to get your fenders rolled. Uh, you have to might have to pull your fenders a little bit on the front. Again, it depends on how aggressive a wheel and tire setup you go. Uh, as for the rears, you do have to relocate the uh, rear bumper tabs. So anyways, um, the tire setup I went with, like I said, square setup. Let's talk about the wheels first. For the wheels, the Spoon SW388 wheels I have, these are the specs. They are 17 by 9.5 plus 60. So yeah, that's all around for all four wheels. Um, so for tires, I was debating running 245s all around or 255s. I went with 255s in the end. So these are 255 40 17s for the size. Um, the tire brand I went with specifically, I went with a set of Falcon tires. So this is actually my first time running uh, Falcon tires on my car. Um, sorry, I should say I did have Falcon tires before, I think on my RSX, but yeah, these are grippy tires. You can see the thread pattern, really aggressive. I was doing some research on what tires I should get. And to be honest, my first choice was really the Toyo R888 Rs. Uh, but firstly, those are on back order for a while. Secondly, in the rain, I heard those aren't so good. Plus, the whole objective of the S2000 is to be, you know, a car that I can take on occasional track days, I can take it to car shows, I can do a spirited weekend drive with it. So I wanted something that, you know, occasionally, if it rains or anything like that, I could still drive. Um, like I said, the Toyo R888 Rs, I look into like the Yokohama tires, the AO52s, those are really sticky track tires. But again, I don't have to go so aggressive since I, you know, this car does get driven on the road. It's not just a dedicated track car. So in the end, I went with these tires. These are the Falcon Azanis RT615K. Uh, I have friends with S2000s who run these on their S2000s on track days and they really like how it grips. I was also contemplating on something of more like a uh, summer street tire, like the uh, Firestone. Firehawk Indy 500. I already do have those on my Grand Light wheels, which are currently on my Civic Si, my daily driver. So I just want to try something different. Uh, like I say, thread pattern is real aggressive, real nice. 
Um, in the rain, it handles great as well. So yeah, all four wheels and tires, same size, like I said, 255, 40, 17s. And here's another view of the tires. Like I said, brand new, 615K plus tire, 94, thread wear. Yeah, just super excited to rock these. So in the next video, you guys will probably see these mounted. So I just want to do a separate video just on these tires. Um, for those of you guys who have ran this tire, leave in the comment section below how you like them. Um, I will probably also do like a review down the road on how I like these tires. Like I said, first time running Falcon tires on a car um, that will be used for spirited driving. Uh, just to give you guys a rough idea, I've ran some uh, summer tires like the Yokohama S drives. Uh, on my Mitsubishi Lancer, I have the uh, Continental Contact Extreme Sport tires. I have the uh, Firehawk Indy 500 tires right now on my SI. I've ran Pirelli P0s. Um, but yeah, I really want to run Toyo or Yokohama tires maybe one day. Uh, if I do get a set of like backup wheels, maybe I'll do that. But as of right now, the Falcon tires, they're in stock, they're easy to get. Oh, one more thing about these, the price point is really attractive. So per tire in this size, depending where you get it from, but on average, you're looking to pay about $166 for one tire, which is not bad at all. So comparing that to say an uh, Toyo R888R, that is like two, three hundred dollars a tire. So it almost double the cost per tire. Um, so yeah, for a whole set, you're paying like 600 something dollars for a whole set of four tires. 255, 40, 17s, not bad at all. And like I said, I'm super excited. Uh, we'll actually be having somebody come to the house, a mobile tire guy tomorrow to mount them. Uh, reason being, firstly, the four wheels and tires won't fit in my S2000. So I was trying to think about it. I was like, I could take my Civic Si. Firstly, my Si is a two-door car. Uh, I am not confident if I can fit all four wheels and tires inside. Uh, even if I manage to fit all four wheels and tires, that means I have to carry all that to a tire shop drop it off, drive my SI back, take my S2000 to the shop, mount the wheels and tires, and then I still have to bring my stock wheels back. So I have to make another trip with my SI. So just too many trips up and down. Uh, I also calculated the cost. Um, obviously with a mobile tire guy, what that means is they come here in a van to your house, your office, anywhere. They have the machine in their van. Um, so yeah, I can do it from the convenience of my own house. Uh, it's going to be more expensive than taking it to the shop, but if you compare the price, it's just a little bit more. So yeah, save myself the hassle. Uh, instead of driving up and down gas money, plus making extra trips with the different cars, I have to make three trips. So yeah, I was like, in the end, it might be a little bit more worth it. To give you a rough idea, uh, most tire shops on average charge about $100 for four tires. Um, that's average. Some might cost a little bit more, some cost less. What that means is mounting tires new tires on the new wheels and balancing them so yeah about 100 bucks with uh the mobile guy i actually went around and called a few different companies they get quotes firestone does actually have a firestone direct which is their van uh 140 bucks is what i'm quoted so you're paying like 40 dollars more but you know they come to your house you get it done so even if you're at work you need to mount new tires on your old wheels or new tires on new wheels they can do all that for you you don't really have to be there but you know obviously being me i would like to be there and make sure they don't scratch my spoon wheels probably take a video of them up close you know mounting the wheels and tires and all that as well so yeah super excited um like i said what i'll probably do is they'll be here tomorrow morning which is the next video you guys will see uh, I'll move my S2000 out of the garage, put it right in the middle, jack it up on jack stands, um, and then pretty much, yeah, take off the stock wheels, place them aside, get it all ready for the guys. Um, I also do have like my spoon stickers uh, for the wheels and my spoon center caps as well as my new Project Kick lug nuts. So I'm replacing all of that as well. And I hope you guys like it. I know this is just a simple video showing you guys the new tires. They just came in yesterday and I put them in the garage. And I wasn't really gonna shoot this video, but I decided why not to share with you guys anytime I get new car parts in, it's exciting for me. And to be honest, I had the spoon wheels long enough. 
Uh, I bought them now for almost a month and I have not installed them just because of the tires. Like I said, I haven't got the tires yet. And quite honest, I was firstly debating on what size I should run. Secondly, debating on what brand I should go with. Um, also, I was trying to see if I can get like a tire sponsorship. Uh, unfortunately, I had to pay retail on it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and I was like, if I were to delay it any longer, quite literally, the only thing is stopping me from putting on the new wheels are the tires, since I don't have new tires for it. So yeah, new wheels, new tires, new lug nuts, new center cap stickers, all gonna go on. Once that's all on, I'm gonna, you know, drive it. Um, hopefully, like I said, it'll probably need an alignment as well since it's a new wheel and tire setup. Uh, hopefully it doesn't rub on the way to get it aligned. Either way, we'll get that done. We'll dial in the right height. Hopefully everything goes well. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. If you guys stay till the very end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're new to your channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. We, we, we